Uh, this right here is my diamond box. I call it my wallet. We're pretty weak right now, guys. We're looking pretty, pretty weak. Oh my gosh, I need more diamonds. And we need to go mining. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plan to do that because this is pathetic. Hello, fellow crafters. Clickwell is here. We are back in the basement. We're here with our filters here. We're setting everything up. We have already a quarter of the room complete. This guy's staring up the uh, at the iron blocks. I wonder if maybe he's got uh, a long lost cousin in there. I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. Okay, let's get to work today, guys. We are talking about storage. I've been looking at these chests for a while. I'm getting them all sorted out. No pun intended. And I think that the only thing we haven't really talked about that much in terms of storage is ender chests. Yeah, that's right. We talked about ender chests for a quick second right before we fought the dragon. I mentioned how they are kind of like a cloud storage system. You can put all of your gear in here and then uh, wherever you are in the world, no matter what, no matter which dimension, as long as you have an ender chest on you, you can pop that open and uh, get everything that you have in here. It's kind of like, like I said, it's like a cloud storage system and it's super, super handy and it's super overpowered and I think not a lot of people understand the potential these things have. So, let's talk about ender chests. You know what? Let's, uh, let's have this chat in the old solarium there. I just made a new solarium, uh, <laughs> we put up the glass walls and everything. It's not finished. We still need to put a floor and a ceiling in it. But you know what? This is going to be it. This is going to be it. I, I like we can see the uh, industry island here over the over in the distance. We can see the rest of spawn. Um, I like that we can see the sun here. Maybe we'll put like a maybe we'll put like a nice glass ceiling on it somewhere so we can sort of see the sun kind of pass through the sky or something. I don't know. This is going to be a fun little room to build. This is kind of the last one we have to build in the in the chateau here. So I want to make sure it's a uh, it's a nice fun build. Okay, let's let's grab an ender chest. Let's pop it on the ground here and uh, boop and have a quick look inside. I'll as you can see, on the top row of my ender chest, I like to have all of my dyed shulker boxes. If you take a single piece of dye and a regular shulker box like this and you put it into a crafting table, you can get a colored shulker box, which makes sorting in your ender chest incredibly easy. Whereas, which one of these do you think would be my redstone chest? Bam, the red one. Okay, I like my flight box to be the, the white one. So it's, I always know which is which. It's super, super easy. If you ever want to change the color of a shulker box that you've already uh, already colored, just take a cauldron, fill it with water, and put that shulker box in your hand and right-click on that cauldron. That'll wash that shulker box back to the original purple. Uh, if you try to dye the shulker box purple, it won't actually look the same color. So um, you know what? That's the best way to do it is to wash it. Let's. The second row, I like to always have empty shulker boxes that I'm going to end up filling with stuff later. I haven't decided what I, what I want to have in these yet. Just the top row has been decided. So these are kind of placeholders for now, but they're also extra storage. If I ever need a shulker box, I can just go in here and grab an empty one, which is super helpful. And then the bottom section here is my go-to. This is kind of my second hot bar. Um, sometimes it's, it's easier. Let's say I'm fighting with a mob and I run out of food and I quickly throw an ender chest on the ground and open it up. Instead of me going in to grab my food box, I can just quickly grab a piece of food that I have in my little second hot bar here. I generally don't think I'll need more than 18 shulker boxes filled with items at one point or another on me. So this is the best way I always have these open. If I need to use a couple of these spaces for more more shulker boxes I can, but uh, something like milk, needing milk really quickly to get a to get a, an effect of a wither skeleton off of you, really quickly grabbing uh, fireworks if you need them, wood, that kind of stuff. So this is all where my handy stuff goes, and uh, the top is where my extended storage is. Let me go ahead and put all of these into my inventory, and I'll put them all on the ground, and we'll go through each one of them. These are my dyed shulker boxes. These are my VIP boxes. These are the ones that go on the top of my ender chest. Uh, this is what all of my important stuff is in. As we can start on the left here, we can see this red box is obviously my redstone stuff. Um, I like to start with some redstone dust, which is actually starting to run out. I need a little bit more of that. I used all of it in our storage system. And uh, we've got basically everything we could potentially need, even things like honey blocks and slime blocks down the road. And uh, anything you could potentially need for a redstone build is going to go into this particular box. This is always kind of changing, as all of these boxes are. It's kind of like a living, breathing thing it's always growing it's always changing it's always evolving but for now this is kind of how it looks and uh, things will change pretty soon but always don't never forget to put uh, some spruce in there as well as maybe some stone or some cobblestone I have a cobblestone box so I don't have to worry about too much about that but uh, that's uh, this is kind of what my redstone box looks like for now at least early game so my flight box is the second one. This is when I always have all of my fireworks in, all of my extra elytras that are already enchanted, ready to go. Once I get uh, some clerics in my uh, villager trading hall down there, I'm going to end up getting some bottles of enchanting along the bottom uh, row here as well. I like to have those on hand just in case I run out of uh, uh, durability on my elytra and I'm getting kind of in a dangerous spot. I can always just grab those uh, bottles of enchanting and just enchant that elytra really quickly before I, I move on. And that, that stops me from falling to my to my death on a mountain or something like that as I uh, fly over. So that's great. Let's 
move on next to my rock box. Uh, rock box is always handy. You never know when you need some stone, some cobblestone for some redstone builds, that kind of stuff. I also leave the bottom section here for sort of the less used uh, stones, such as uh, granite and uh, andesite. Diorite is used plenty because it's an amazing stone, but uh, that's that's what we got down here in our rock box. Uh, next, I know this is my food box. It's always orange, my food box. Um, that's usually because I usually have golden carrots filling this whole box. Uh, we haven't gotten our, uh, our farmer villagers yet. You know, we've been a little busy, so uh, we've got our, we still got our cooked chicken farm, our cooked ch cook chicken farm. We filled this up, but uh, we'll get those golden carrots in here real soon, and uh, maybe that orange color will make a little bit more sense on the food box. Also, when you start, uh, you know, start working away on villagers and uh, and uh, enchanting them, uh, or, or, or you know, unlocking them all the way to their master level, uh, you're gonna get a lot of cakes and cookies and that kind of things in the process. And you can put all those in here as well. It's nice to have color and all that kind of stuff in your food box. Excuse me, cow. All right, number two, we are last. Next, next thing we've got here is our iron box, and of course we have an iron farm, so this is not going to be an issue. We have more iron than we're ever going to know what to do with, and now it's always going to be on our person. We will never be looking for iron. Uh, this right here is my diamond box. I call it my wallet. We're pretty weak right now, guys. We're looking pretty, pretty weak. Oh my gosh, I need more diamonds. We need to go mining, uh, so we're going to go ahead and plan to do that because this is pathetic. Man, on my server, I think I've got like a whole whole row of diamond block stacks. So this is uh, this is something I need to work on. I'm feeling a little bit inadequate at the moment. Uh, finally, we've got our golden boy. This is our golden boy box. This is where I like to keep all my gold. Very very soon, I think we're gonna pop into the Nether. We're gonna be doing ourselves. Uh, we're gonna work on. The, we're gonna move onto the Nether roof, and we're going to uh, we're gonna do some uh, some gold farms up there, which is gonna fill this entire box up with gold, which is gonna be great. And then of course we've got our battle box. It's a nice blue battle box. Everything in here is basically disposable. I mean, if I'm fighting someone, I lose all my gear, I come running back in, I just grab this box, I throw some of this random stuff on, and it doesn't really matter what's on it, you know, I just, if I die, it's okay that it's gone, some of it's even got Curse of Vanishing on it, we've got a fishing rod, and some, uh, like a boat, and some milk, and stuff like that, so, just some random things that you may need in a fight, obviously some spectral arrows, I should get a bow in here, that's one thing I don't have in here is an extra bow, and then finally, my most important box, one that you use the most, uh, but you don't even realize, the unsung hero is... The utility box. I got this idea originally from CubFan135. Go check him out. I, I talk about CubFan a lot. Big fan of CubFan. And uh, he has a utility box with kind of basically any general random crap he could possibly think of that he may need. Um, basically, if you're running around, you lose your bed. You've got a bed in here. You've got some extra arrows, some extra wood, a crafting table, some water, all types of liquid. You know, what if you're running around and all of a sudden you see, an, uh, see a villager that you really want to lock in his trade? You've got some emeralds now. Um, you know, just some extra food, some bone meal. You never know when you need bone meal. That's one thing that kind of jumps out at you. Same with flint and steel. Um, name tags. Name tags are extremely important every now and then. When you need a name tag, you need it right now. And to have these on you is super important with an anvil. Don't forget the anvil because you got to name that name tag something. We got our extra, extra, extra weapons and tools and stuff, obviously, in just in case we have some troubles. And uh, we've got some extra spots for some things that we haven't quite yet thought of. But trust me, there's going to be, uh, there's going to be many things that could fit into this utility box. One last thing I haven't talked about here that uh, I'm going to make very soon is going to be a block box. I always have a block box here. A block box is a box filled with very, very random blocks. Things like cut sandstone, red sand, uh, who knows, right? Just things that you wouldn't normally need. Uh, dyed block, or stained glass, who knows? Things that you wouldn't normally uh, think about. Every single, uh, every single uh, section in that block box is going to have a different, a different stack of 64 of a different type of block. So it's going to be great that whenever we, uh, whenever we're looking for a block, you never know it may be in there. It's always fun to, to pull that box out and check and see if it has what we want. But that's going to be it for our Ender Chest tour, and that's going to do it for two. Day. Thank you so much for coming by for the Ender Chest episode, everybody. It was a short one, but an important episode. I'm so glad that we were able to do this really quickly. Let everybody know how I like to do my Ender Chest. Hopefully, you can uh, tell us below how you like to do yours. What do you like to set up in the top row of your Ender Chest? Comment below. Let me know if I missed something super, super, super important. I can't wait to start setting up more uh, more of these shulker boxes. Uh, I always like it. It's an ongoing thing, guys. It's an ongoing thing. It's always changing, and it's a whole lot of fun. So be sure to comment below. Tell me what you like to do. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. Be sure to come by Twitch and uh, leave me a follow over there. I always love when you come by and say hi and twitch and of course press that subscribe button if you haven't already please join the family we'd love to have you guys thank you so much guys we'll see you real soon stay well stay safe i love you tons peace Okay, bye-bye.